just us, honey. Mommy doesn't do her sales party. She doesn't sell product. If she doesn't sell product, there'll be no food on the table. You understand? You know, I find it distracting to have a mirror right in front of me while I work. It's never bothered me. Son, your mother's just an old fool, fit for only this. Sometimes I think they're going to have to bury me here. Enjoy your luncheon. Um. This was a really thoughtful gift. Thank you. If World Now is going to run this piece, we need something that, you know, we can't read in newspapers or magazines or your books. Mm -hmm. We need something fresh. Well, what can I do to help? I'm at your complete disposal. I'm trying to get to what... Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get to what makes you tick. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get to the real you. The real me? Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> well. So you want the real me? Good. You will get the real me. Now, this is the real me. <laughs> and this chair here is especially for the real you. You go sit down there specially. Come on, everyone. This is Annika. <laughs> When I bring you into my home, it's because, as Mary Kay directors, I think of you as family. And as family, I think you should understand how some of this began. It took God a long time to prepare me for the job he wanted me to do. In those days, I was a saleswoman for a home product company. Richard and I were on our own. I was working night and day to make ends meet. Now, a young man needs attention and supervision, which I did not have time for. So, reluctantly, I decided that I would place him in a military boarding school just until I got my promotion. And I had certainly earned it because in that year, I sold more than the next two top-selling salespeople combined. Now, all I had to do was train one last salesman. So, when I returned to headquarters, my supervisor invited me in. I was certain he was going to tell me that I had that promotion. I was certain that he would welcome me to management and then I could bring Richard back home. I was wrong. I had worked as hard as I could for 25 years and I just couldn't get to first base. I was at the end of my rope. Then I remembered something my mother had said to me years before. She had said, when you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot. That's when the inspiration hit me. I would start my own company, my dream company. A company that would give women a chance to go as far as their brains and their drive would take them. A company that would be based on the golden rule. Now, I had been using a product that I liked very much for about 10 years. And I knew that other women liked it too. It had been invented by a tanner who noticed that some of the chemicals that he was using when he did his work had made his hands completely soft. He died a few years before and he had never been able to market it. So I put together every last cent that I had and I went to his granddaughter and I bought it. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt, but doesn't Beauty Control sell the exact same formula? <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, I understood that you weren't able to buy complete control of the rights, and in fact, Beauty Control sells precisely the same product. Isn't that right? But that is such an old story. 
That's ancient history. Wasn't there some legal action? Well, the Tanner family sold the formula to another company, and eventually it went back to the competitor that you just named. That really hurt you, didn't it? Hmm. Yes. It did. You know, I grew up in a time and a place. My father had TB. And my mother was working two jobs. So that left it up to me to take care of him. And I was seven years old. Now, my mother could not help it that she could not be there, but she wasn't. Now, I never had other things that girls had. And I knew that I had to go out and work very hard for what I needed. Nobody was going to hand it to me on a platter. Now, in those days, you were not supposed to work. In fact, you were supposed to feel ashamed if you worked. There was no woman's lib back then. Not at all. I just wanted to help every woman who might be in the same position as I was. And frankly, I think I've done a pretty good job of it. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got that Mary Kay feeling deep in my heart, deep in my heart, deep in my heart. Well. There is a Mary Kay tradition waiting for us upstairs. <laughs> Shall we go up and do it? Let's do it. Well, here we are. Annika, I thought this would be beautiful for your camera crew. On up there, ladies. This is the traditional. Oh, all right. I'll be right back. Well. I suppose we could take the picture standing next to the tub. Well, that's not the way it's supposed to be. To get to be queen of sales, you're supposed to stand in the tub. Yeah. I'm gonna put my feet in here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, all right, take a picture of the new queen of sales. <laughs> Really? But how many people am I going to have to talk sweetie, to? Sweetie, sweetie, remember, you're the one that said you want to give Mary Kay a run for her money, right? Now, now, we can't quite fill the convention center yet, but we got ourselves a great big hotel right across from Mary Kay. It's now our turn to stick it to her. How many people am I going to have to talk to? How many? Well, well, business, you know, being as good as it is and, and, the, and the color analysis thing doing so well for us, uh, um, I'm thinking... Two, three thousand tops. Oh my God! Oh no! But, but sweetie, it, it's just the same thing that you've been doing. Yeah, it is. You just, you just got to pretend that you're talking to five or six people, and you know, with with the lights and and everything, that's that's probably all you're gonna be able to see anyway. No, no, Dick, it's not the same thing. When I go and help the reps, I talk about makeup and colors. Right. Do that. No, no, I can't. I can't do just that. And, and this kind of thing, don't you understand, Dick? I've got to, I've got to be inspirational. I've got to teach them some kind of life lesson or a, a way of living or being or something. I've got to be somebody. Ah! Honey, you are somebody. So, you know, as you know, all those best-selling self-help books, they say life is like something else, like it's like a sailing or kindergarten or moving cheese or something. Well, I'm just going to do it, okay?